perfect i think attitude of gratitude was definitely something which is emphasized a lot and uh, i remember once what happened that um, you know a saint was passing by and he saw that a man was about to commit suicide mm-hmm. so he stopped him and said why are you doing this and he said because god has not given me anything so he said okay you give me your eyes and i'll give you 5 million dollars are you ready to do that and yeah. he's like no i'm not doing that <laughs> right yeah. so if we start counting our blessings our exactly. entire human form itself is such a huge blessing exactly. but we don't realize it at all yeah and instead of looking another... in the mirror and saying i'm too fat i'm too dark i'm too this just to be given this form the ability to think the ability it's it's already such a sorry i interrupted you go on no no <laughs> no problem at all so i was just about to say you know you were talking about children and changing their mindsets about uh, you know not being attached to the outcome and just performing your duty i think a major portion of that responsibility also goes to parents because there is a lot of pressure on the child via the parents where they are like you know okay you have to come first in class or yes. why haven't you gotten that 98 percentage right so i think that do you have some advice for parents as well yeah i think for parents also it's the exact same advice about krishna do your duty without expecting anything in return your duty as a parent is to nourish your children's bodies and souls and minds that's all you can't it can't your love towards them cannot be conditional that you know if you do this i love you otherwise i don't love you i mean i know that a lot of parents think of this as love they really really see they don't they don't mean to be mean at all there is no malice they just uh, want their children to be happy in their understanding of what happiness is which is uh, you know you do well and therefore you get a good job you will be comfortable in life you'll have enough money you know those kind of thing that is why you have to study hard that is why you have to you know and maybe they're thinking you should have this very strong work ethic because that's what keeps you going in life but somewhere along the way it gets muddled into some quantifiable thing like marks you know which mm. is not the important thing True. if you can build this kind of resilience in your children this kind of work ethic this kind of hard work and discipline that is plenty they will succeed in life whatever whatever they do you know even if they don't come first what you i think what we sort of sacrifice as parents at the altar of wanting good for our children is we don't let them be who they are we forget that they are old old souls with their own karmas to fulfill with their own journeys in this lifetime and we have been privileged to have the guardianship of them for a few years you know that's all we should, if we treat it like what a great privilege that i have this child and uh, you know i only want to and by my own example i want to build it in the child this pursuance of a work ethic of being good of of thinking of doing mindful action i have to role model it in my own life so that the child can follow it because you know children this is very we everybody knows it but people stop thinking about it that children never do what you say they do what you do they are watching you constantly and they just do what you do so if you can just role model the importance of and i think especially in these days when mental health is so has become such an issue especially among young people everybody seems so fragile you know mentally and emotionally they are not able to keep themselves together they flounder at every small crisis in these times i think what is really important is while you i mean parents are wonderful about providing external resources for their child the children tuitions drivers to ferry them to tuitions and back the best schools uh, you know uh, the best uh, kind of uh, extra curricular activities they want them to shine in everything all that is there but if we do this at the cost of building their inner resources internal resources then we are doing the absolute wrong thing external resources can only be a support but internal resources are what will keep them strong happy peaceful in terms of uh, in times of crisis so if we can just recognize as parents that you know this is an old soul that is passing through me which has its own destiny and i can't guide its destiny and why do parents do all of this why do they say 
uh, I mean, I, I said earlier that uh, they want their children to be happy and do well and they want their children to be safe. But where is the core of that? The core of that comes from the parents' fear that they won't make it, that they won't mm -hmm. you know, have enough money, that they won't mm -hmm. succeed and then they will be unhappy, etc. So it comes from a, what, what they feel is a place of love, but it actually comes from a place of fear. And if hmm. parents can drop that fear and say, you know, I just facilitate, support my child, and I'm, I have no fear. I'm sure this child will find her way at some point. And, it, and that doesn't mean you just keep on praising your child. You obviously, you know, do the walk the middle path. It's a hard one. But if you can stop thinking of the child as someone born to fulfill your expectations, and as an independent individual soul with its own aspirations and its own journey and you can support and facilitate, I think we're, we will be able to put that little distance between them and us. And when that, that is important. Otherwise, you get too attached and you start feeling they are part of you, but they're not. They are separate souls. You know, if you can right. put that distance and look at them as teachers for you, just as you are a teacher for them as equals after a point, after you have brought them up, maybe... 10, 12, until then you can, but by 13, they start expressing their own identity. They have their own. And at that point, if you can treat them with respect for their choices, for their actions, I think we will get somewhere.